Good morning. So we're still in Nazareth on this Thursday, and um, we're quoting from the Luke 1, 31 through 33. And I want you to listen closely to these descriptions of who Jesus is. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will call name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give him to the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. So as we think about uh, who this Christ child is as a He's born into the world. Think of those titles. Now, you, you remember that, uh, of course, David didn't rule forever, right? The Jerusalem was destroyed even in 586 BC, and Zebekiah was arrested by the Babylonians then. Uh, the, uh, his sons were executed while he watched. His eyes were gouged out. He was led away and chains as a prisoner to Babylon. The leading citizens were exiled to Babylon, others fled to Egypt, and the rest were scattered. For 50 years, the Israelites remained, remained in exile. During this time, the prophets of the exiles reminded the people of the promise made to David that his throne would be established forever. Surely this meant that despite their current circumstances, there was still hope that God would restore his people. So as we think about what it might mean to be restored back to normal life after COVID-19, it sometimes, I know that I sometimes lose hope that that's gonna happen. And, and I also sometimes lose hope that um, in the world and uh, for different reasons. And I know that as we think think about hope and what we hope for, um, some of our hopes will be dashed against the rocks because we won't be able to gather in person as soon as we would like to. But in this scripture, we're reminded that Jesus will restore us and his kingdom will last forever. And in that kingdom, I find hope, even as the circumstances around me are not what I want them to be. So as we think about that, let's pray. Lord, in this season of Advent, as I read the story surrounded by your birth, I once more acknowledge you as my King. How grateful I am that you reign forever. Help me today and each day to live as a citizen of your kingdom. Amen.